Do you work for money? I work hard for the money. What if I told you your money could work for you? In today's video, I will share with you five different ways to invest in Canada with $1,000 or less. If you're ready to start investing but only have a little bit of money, make sure you watch this video till the end. Why should you invest? Investing is key to building wealth. If you don't invest your money, your money can't grow. Your money will actually be worth less in time due to inflation. You may want to invest because you have financial goals and you want to reach them sooner. Like buying a house, buying a car, starting your own business, saving for retirement, or even your children's education. But before you get into investing, there's two things you need to do first. You must pay off your high interest debt and build an emergency fund. Why? The average credit card interest rate is 19.99%. The average stock market return is 10%. After inflation, it's closer to 7%. Although investing will grow your money, high interest debt will decrease your money at a faster rate. So why not get a guaranteed saving on high interest debt instead of risking your money for a lower return? Also, before you start investing, you should have an emergency fund. How much? Start with at least $1,000. This will cover an emergency like car repairs, home repairs, or even appliance repairs. But in order to cover job loss, you will need a higher emergency fund. If you're investing without an emergency fund and an emergency happens, you may need to sell your stocks at a loss plus minus selling and withdrawing fees. And it also may take you a few days before your funds can become available. And if it's an emergency, you may not have the time. Your emergency fund should be as liquid as possible and easy to access. Once you have your high interest debt paid off and your emergency fund funded, you can start investing. Now let's get into the top five ways to invest $1,000 or less. Number one, Tangerine Investment Funds. This is where I started investing. I already had a Tangerine checking account and was recommended to start investing with Tangerine by the Canadian Couch Potato. Tangerine offers five different portfolios. These investments are considered long-term mutual funds. What's a mutual fund? It's a professionally managed investment that pulls money from many different investors to buy securities. The portfolio you pick will depend on your risk tolerance. The younger you are and the more time you have to invest, the higher your risk tolerance should be. The high risk portfolios invest in Canadian, US and international stocks, while the low risk portfolios will be mostly invested in bonds. The only fee with the Tangerine Investment Funds is the management fee, which is 1.07%. This means if you invested $1,000, you'd be charged $10.70 at the end of the year. With this fee, you get an index strategy, global diversification, and automatic investing. The only work required is picking your portfolio and funding your account. Then Tangerine will do the rest. You can even set up automatic deposits to grow your portfolio even faster and make investing completely passive. The minimum to start investing is only $25 and every dollar that you invest will be invested because you can own a fraction of the fund. For more info on the Tangerine Investment Funds, click this link up here or look for the link in the video description below. Number two, a robo-advisor like Milo or Wealthsimple Invest. What is a robo-advisor? It's an investing platform that offers a fully managed portfolio that's recommended to you based on the information you provide. Information like risk tolerance, investment goals, income, savings, etc. Once you answer the questionnaire, you can pick the portfolio that's recommended to you or pick a different one. Also, you need to fund your account, but this can be automatic. With Milo and Wealthsimple Invest, you can set up automatic deposits to fund your account on a recurring basis. Or you can use a roundup feature that will automatically round up your everyday purchases and invest the spare change. These robo-advisors will mainly invest in low-cost ETFs. Their portfolios are diversified based on your risks. They come with automatic dividend reinvesting and automatic rebalancing. The management fee for Wealth Simple Invest is 0.5%. So if you invested $1,000, it would cost you $5 for the year. And with Wealth Simple Invest, they have a sign-up bonus where you can get $10,000 managed for free for the first year. Milo, on the other hand, doesn't charge a management fee as a percent. Instead, they have a monthly fee of either $1 or $3. So with Milo, if you invested $1,000, it will either cost you $12 a year or $36. This is much more expensive than Wealth Simple Invest, but when you grow your portfolio to let's say $10,000, you will still either pay $12 or $36 a year. That same $10,000 with Wealth Simple Invest will now have a $50 annual fee. On top of the management fees, there are MER fees from the ETFs and the funds. These fees are built into the price and you will always pay these fees when you're investing in ETFs. The best part of Milo and Wealth Simple Invest is that there's no minimum balance required. So with these robo advisors, you can start investing with very little money. And since these are robo advisors, you don't need any knowledge in the stock market or any knowledge in investing in general. Number three, 
ETF investing with Questrade. What is an ETF? An exchange traded fund is a collection of stocks and bonds all in one fund. Unlike mutual funds, ETFs are traded like a stock on a stock exchange. Unlike the first two options on this list, Questrade has a lot more work involved and more fees you need to worry about. But with the right investing strategy, ETF investing can be a lot cheaper than mutual funds and robo-advisors. Unlike stocks, all ETFs have an MER fee, but this fee is a fraction of what you pay with mutual funds and robo-advisors. The majority of online brokers in Canada charge a commission fee when buying and selling ETFs. This is where Questrade comes in. They offer commission-free buying of all Canadian and US listed ETFs only when selling you'll be charged a commission at one cent per share minimum 4.95 to maximum 9.95 also you need to be aware of the inactive fee quest trade charges 24.95 per quarter if you don't meet the requirements the requirements to waive the quarterly fee are make at least one trade in a quarter including buying commission free etfs or maintain an equity of a thousand dollars or subscribe to a market data package or deposit at least $150 per quarter, or if you are under the age of 25. That being said, you require a minimum balance of $1,000 to start investing. But I recommend having more than $1,000 as a buffer so you can waive the inactive fee. So what kind of ETFs should you buy? First, take a look at all-in-one ETFs by providers like Vanguard, iShares, and Horizons. The ETFs you choose will be determined by your risk tolerance. Let's take a look at a popular choice in Canada, the Vanguard Growth ETF Portfolio, ticker symbol VGRO. This ETF consists of seven underlying Vanguard ETFs with an asset allocation of 80% equity and 20% fixed income. This ETF has an MER fee of 0.25%. So if you had $1,000 in this ETF, it would cost you $2.50 per year. The best part of these ETFs is your entire portfolio can consist of one of these ETFs and you'll be diversified and have the right asset allocation. What's so great about these ETFs is that they can rebalance themselves. But unlike mutual funds and robo-advisors, you can't automatically purchase ETFs for the most part. Also, you can't buy fractional shares. If an ETF costs $17 and you deposit $20 into your account, you can only purchase one share and the extra $3 will just sit in your account as cash. For more info on Questrade, click this link up here or look for the link in the video description below. Number four, individual stocks with Wealth Simple Trade. With Wealth Simple Trade, there is no minimum account balance. You can start investing as long as you have enough to buy one share. With Wealth Simple Trade, you can purchase stocks and ETFs with no commission fees. Also with Wealth Simple Trade, there's no quarterly or annual fees. The only fees with Wealth Simple Trade are the MER fees on the ETFs and the 1.5% currency conversion fee. Wealth Simple Trade doesn't allow you to hold cash in US dollars. So let's say you wanted to buy a Tesla stock at $700 USD. It would cost you around $15 to exchange Canadian dollars to US dollars to purchase the stock. But now you want to sell your share. Since you can't hold cash in US dollars, you need to exchange currency again, so another $15 to sell. Because of this, I don't recommend buying any US stocks or US ETFs on Wealth Simple Trade. If you only stick to Canadian stocks and ETFs, you won't need to pay this conversion fee. So what Canadian stocks should you buy? I can't answer that for you. This is where buying individual stocks can become time consuming. You need to spend your time learning about the stock market and the companies traded in them. Once you do find a company that fits your values, you'll need to stay on top of them. Reading quarterly reports, listening in on conference calls, and just keeping up with important news. Investing in individual stocks can be the most time consuming and the most risky, but with this you have the potential for a much higher return. But what if you need your money in the short term? You may not want to risk losing any of your investment. That brings us to number five, GICs with EQ Bank. To purchase a GIC with EQ Bank, there are no fees and you only need a minimum deposit of $100. But what is a GIC? A guaranteed investment certificate is pretty much a locked in guaranteed interest rate that you'll make on your money for a fixed period of time. So let's say you wanna buy a house in two years. The savings you have for a house should not be invested in the stock market. Because if the market drops, you won't have enough time to recover and will take a loss. But you can purchase a two year GIC at a current rate of 2.10% with EQ Bank at no risk. This interest rate is low compared to the average stock market return, but this investment is completely risk-free. For the most part, GICs are only enough to cover inflation. So don't expect to build wealth with a GIC. These GICs usually offer higher interest rates than high interest savings accounts. But something else to consider is that with a GIC, your money is locked in 
and you can't touch it till the end of your terms. But with a savings account, you have the ability to withdraw your money at any time. EQBank also offers a high interest savings account with an interest rate of 2%. This is only 0.10% less than the GIC. What gives? A high interest savings account is not guaranteed. EQBank could drop their interest rate to 1% tomorrow. And because of the current global situation, that's very possible. For more info on EQBank, look for the link in the video description below. In my opinion, the stock market is being held together with glue. Currently, the majority of my portfolio is in cash. I believe stocks will test the bottom by the end of this year. The best time to invest is when the market is at its lowest, like during a crash or a dip like we just had. But now the market has recovered, so you may have missed the boat, but we're not out of the water yet. If you have less than $1,000, the point is to just start investing. The earlier you start, the more experience you will gain. Everyone will make mistakes, so it's best to learn from your mistakes as soon as possible before your portfolio gets really big and these stupid mistakes can cost you a lot more. Investing is only one part of building wealth. Another crucial part is saving money. If you invested $20,000 and got the average stock market return of 10%, you will have made $2,000. But let's say you reduce your daily spending by $10 by buying less coffee, fast food, gas station, and corner store purchases. After one year, you will have saved $3,650. So the power of saving can be much more effective than investing with way less risk. In conclusion, investing with $1,000 or less won't make you rich. But if you stay invested and keep saving your money and set up automatic deposits to grow your portfolio even more, before you know it, you will be rich. Also with Tangerine, Wealth Simple Invest, Milo, Wealth Simple Trade, and Quest Trade, they all have TFSA accounts. If you're only starting to invest, you should max out your TFSA before opening up a cash account. TFSAs will help your investments grow tax-free which will help maximize your returns. My next video will be on everything you need to know about emergency funds. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss when that video comes out. If you like this video, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below which one of these investing methods do you wanna try. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep making money moves. Peace.